ready to eat. Where do I start? <laughs> Everybody. Welcome to a new video, new vibes on my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. My name is Kiana for those of you who don't know. And as always, please make sure you guys are signed into YouTube to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell to join the notification crew and sprinkle some love on that like button to better help this channel grow if you like this video. Today I have a little sushi mukbang for you guys. So since I don't have a vlog for you guys this month, I decided to do a mukbang and sort of like a chit chat because i really like to eat i love food and i love sushi i decided to do a sushi mug thing <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys the sushi that i got so in this first tray here we have the lion king which is the salmon sushi it's basically just a california roll topped with seared salmon and eel sauce next to the lion king is the teriyaki roll it's just chicken teriyaki cucumber and eel sauce and the second tray is the Big Sexy Roll. This is made with real crab, tuna, red snapper, avocado, and cucumber. It was supposed to be topped with red tobiko and wasabi, but it's just topped with wasabi sauce in this one. We're going to get into the sushi now. I got this sushi from Sushi Nari. This isn't my first time trying Sushi Nari, um, but some of these rolls like this one i haven't tried this one but i've tried the salmon roll and the big sexy roll um i haven't tried that one either oh my gosh i got the chopsticks i know how to eat sushi with chopsticks okay i've been practicing oh my gosh this looks so good mmm oh. Mm -hmm. I feel like I just taste the ocean. <laughs> mm. Okay, now I'm gonna try this one. This is the chicken teriyaki one. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Chicken teriyaki is good. I like this combination. I'm gonna take some of this pink stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm just eating because I'm so hungry. <laughs> I literally didn't eat before I got this food, so. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just like eating until I feel like good enough to start talking. My favorite thing about sushi is the rice wrap. It's so delicious. It's just like sticky rice just wrapped together in a ball like in your mouth. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. It is very windy today. The weather in Maryland is so crazy. Like, it's notorious for being bipolar. I'm just really excited for warmer weather. It's like, the weather wants to get a little bit warmer, but then it's still cold. Like, I'm still wearing my North Face. And I'm just excited to, like, start wearing shorts and, like, not have to wear a coat anymore. In the most recent years, I've become somewhat of a foodie. I like to try a lot of different foods from different restaurants and different places, different types of cuisine. 
My mom didn't raise me and my sisters to like eat fish because she was allergic. So I had to like kind of like explore that on my own. Salmon's definitely my favorite. There's other fish that I've tried that I actually like. Like I'm not a fish hater. Like I love fish basically. Um, but I was basically pretty much raised on chicken and steak or, you know, beef like for a great majority of my life. I'm gonna try the other one. Uh, I'm gonna try this one. This is supposed to be Big Sexy. They forgot to put the Tobiko sauce, red Tobiko on this, which I'm so disappointed in them for doing that. This sushi, I'll be honest, this presentation is not the best. And the whole point of me getting this was because of the presentation. So, there's that. This avocado looks mm -mm. I need some better sushi options because this was not that good. Mm. Yeah, they definitely owe me for this. This is terrible. Okay. Let me try it again. Maybe. Mm. I'm not really feeling this one. It's not as flavorful as the other ones. Um. But it's big. They're big. And mouthful so they're probably just really filling which is good um because i want to get full but <clears throat> this is not my favorite sushi it has avocado wasabi sauce it's all right mm. okay this is i'm gonna take this last one and then we're gonna get into our chit chat I got the pure leaf sweet tea. They usually have, I usually would get lemon if they have it. This um restaurant was okay. This used to be my stuff back in the day. I used to love pure leaf tea back in the day. This is like the best tea to me. When I was working at my first job, I would always get this at my job. This is like my favorite tea ever. It still has the same taste, but the lemon one's definitely much better for me, in my personal opinion. Oh my gosh, guys, I got my nails done! Ah! So, they're longer than usual. I decided to go longer this go around, so we'll see how long I can keep this up for, but I'm really liking it. I really like the long nail look again. So, yeah. I didn't bring you guys here for nothing. I definitely wanted to have a conversation or have a chit chat, whatever, talk about some things, some things, some things, a lot of things probably. Like this isn't really like, this is just like a lot of different topics, a lot of different things. It's not really just a specific topic I want to talk about. Where do I start? <laughs> I feel like I want to talk about relationships, romantic and friendships. Right now, I'm like sort of working on building my credit. Everything with me right now just feels like I'm rebuilding everything, like from the ground up. Rebuilding, regrowing, that's pretty much where I'm at in life. I've gotten pretty far along in my journey with those things. For instance, like building my credit, like I just had to pay off a really huge debt. Like that's supposed to really help improve my credit. Really happy about that. It's only up from here. Basically, I am just laying down the foundation again to rebuild my credit score. It was easier than I thought to get that paid off. 
I wish I had a table. I try not to drink too much tea because y'all know tea stains your teeth, but I can't help it. I love tea so much. I'm not a coffee drinker. I'm more of a tea drinker than anything else. So that's my only thing. If I didn't love to drink tea so much, I wouldn't have to worry about whitening my teeth. <laughs> Part of being an adult is realizing that your credit score is really important. And for me, I started getting on my credit score when I was 19, 20. So I started like, you know, doing stuff to build my credit. It's gotten me pretty far, I'll say. But yeah, definitely as an adult, you should be focusing on building your credit. So that's one of the things I'm doing. For me, it's all about me and my son. Building my credit is gonna help me, put me in a better position to like, you know, be able to do more things for me and my son. And that is priceless to me. So I'm just like, you know what, whatever I have to do to build my credit, to get it to be where it needs to be, I'm going to do that because I want to set me and my son up for financial success in the future. Speaking of my son, we can talk about, we can talk a little bit about like motherhood. Being a mom, a single mom in this economy, in America, <laughs> such a huge learning curve. I feel like with being a mom, there's so many different things that you learn. Like, at one time, I feel like people who are parents, our brains are wired way differently from people who don't have children. Like, you just think about things differently. You see life differently. Um, like, your priorities change. Um, your circles change. Like... The way you care about yourself changes. It's just so much that comes with being a parent. And I'm still learning. But it gets easier over time. It gets better. It's not the easiest job. Um, but it's definitely something that <clears throat> is definitely manageable. And I love being a mom. Like, honestly, I can't believe I'm sitting in front of my camera right now telling you guys, like, how much I love being a mom. And the fact that I'm actually a mom and that it matters and it makes a difference <laughs> in my life um it's so beautiful i just never imagined that i would actually be like here today saying this I feel like being a mom really came easy and naturally to me but it's so much that i have to learn like for instance like getting up early i was never a morning person before becoming a mom so now like having to like wake up early every day it's tough. It's worth it. You know what I mean? Like, it's for your child. Also, I feel like being around people, like, supportive people who, like, they know what it's like being a parent. They've been there or, like, they want to help and stuff, like, also really, really helps. They encourage you, motivate you to just be the best parent because you have to think about it's for your kid. I have one sushi left, but I actually have two. I have the other one in there. Mm-hmm. I feel like not being with my son's dad, it, like, really put things into perspective for me. As a mom, like, I have to, I have to go ten times harder, like, than before. Like, I have to do all of the things that, you know, like, maybe his father would do. Now I have to do all of the things that, like, he would do, like, to help, like, wake up early change diapers and stuff like that but like now my son he's about to like my son's potty training so he's like he doesn't even need like diapers and stuff anymore as they grow like all of the milestones and stuff that they achieve i'm so amazed at my son's progress because i'm like he literally learns how to walk he talks <laughs> like he's being potty trained like he is literally like just hitting those milestones like crazy and I'm just like yo this is so amazing to just watch it's so rewarding being a parent is so rewarding but it's definitely tough it's not for the week without my son's father being there it's like I'm literally like my son's superhero like I have to be super mom and superhero for myself actually you know I'm feeling like being alone like it's scary Mm. 
Well, it was scary at first. But now I'm totally fine with it. Having the right support team around you is like the best thing. Like when it comes to like family, there's support there. Also friends, you want to make sure you have the right friend group. Some friends, they're not as understanding as other friends. When it comes to you having a kid, they might not understand what it's like or they, they just might not get it. So you have to make sure you're careful about who your friends are. A lot of people change when you have kids, but like they see you differently. I don't know. But basically I realized like after you have a kid, like to me, it just felt like there was no, like nobody, I don't know, like all the people that were my friends before I had a kid, like afterwards, they were just like, I felt like personally, I don't need anybody to call a friend um, or associates. I feel like that's another topic. So friendships is definitely a, a huge topic for me. It seems like a lot of people who have been coming into my life have been seasonal temporary like they will come into my life and you know like we'll talk we'll catch up or whatever and then maybe like a few months give it like a few months right and then they're out of there like literally I don't know what it is how many friends have I lost like <laughs> since I've had a kid let's see one two three four five five six i've lost like so many friends like i've cut ties with so many different people after having a kid but honestly i don't even think having a child has anything to do with friendships falling off i feel like that's just naturally how it was supposed to be it was naturally supposed to be like oh like these people weren't my friends okay it's always such a tough pill to swallow, though, because I genuinely, like, would think, like, these people are my friends, these people like me, these people care about me. No, it's not true. Um, but I've learned so much from it. I'm so thankful for, like, closed doors. Like, closed doors are such a huge blessing, um, an opportunity. Like, you know, I'm glad for those doors closing because God always opens up a better door. I get through it and I get stronger and I get better each time. Every time I come back, I bounce back hard. I come back so much stronger. So it's like, I don't even trip off of like that anymore. Okay, like if you want to leave my life, like go right ahead. Like I don't hold on to anybody. Even after like my relationship with my son's father, after him us splitting up, I feel like anything else after that is kind of just like, you can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't get to me like that. I don't care if somebody doesn't want to be my friend. The thing that I really wanted to talk about is not comparing yourselves because I feel like even with being a parent, like it could be easy to like look at what other parents are doing and like feel bad about like you as a parent and like what you're doing or how you, you know, raise your child or whatever. Just know that like everybody's different. So the way that you raise your child doesn't have to be the same way that somebody else raises their child. Nobody's done anything to me in particular that I feel like they're genuinely trying to compare me especially with being such a young parent like you know m trying to learn the ins and out of being a parent and not really being sure of like how to do certain things or like you know is this the right way to do it or whatever or like just feeling like like down on myself for you know being a single mom or like not being married you know like there's been times where like people have like called me like my son's father's last name and then they'll be like oh like aren't you missus and i'll be like no and then they, they look at me like oh and so like it's just that stigma and it's it's the whole like you know assumption that like i am married because i have a kid and it's just like not like that and so it does make me you know feel a little bit like you know it makes me feel a little bit sad sometimes like it makes me feel like oh like you know, looking around like, is everybody else? You know, not everybody is married, but it should be like that. Having kids, like, you want to be with somebody who's going to be faithful. Like, I want to have more children. I'm like, how am I going to have more children if, you know, nobody is like, my husband hasn't found me. I'm waiting on my husband to find me. I just love my child so much. He makes being a mom so easy when it comes to breakups. Like, I haven't 
I it's been really hard for me to cry lately so it's like I sort of feel like if I were to get into something and then like it's like didn't work out like I wouldn't be sad about it like I would be sad inside but like I could not express it and like let it out because I'm just so focused on what I have to do next that I can't sit around and mope and think about like oh how this person treated me and you know let it dictate or determine how I'm gonna move forward like anymore I can't afford to move like that I used to hate that about myself I used to hate the fact that I was always so emotional and I like literally could not control my emotions when it came to a guy I try to find different ways to like release it for me it's praying praying definitely helps you can listen to music music helps good things really take time so relationships they all take time. Friendships, that takes time. Like, you really have to get to know somebody before you can call them a friend. I think that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you guys watch this video to the very end, you're a real one. Make sure you guys leave me white heart emojis down in the comment section below to let me know that you guys are here. And I will see you guys in our next video. Until next time.